Hello and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And welcome everyone to the second part of our slice of life. Look at bread. Oh、slice. yes, two slices slice. of bread, <laughs> so we can make a sandwich. Yeah, we can make a sandwich. A sandwich of facts about、oh, one of、God. the world's oldest and still most popular foods. Okay, that's enough. Ever since it was first made, at least around fourteen. Thousand years ago, in what is now the Middle Eastern country of Jordan, bread has been filling bellies and delighting taste buds ever since. And since that time, it has also traveled around the world and been reinvented in so many different forms. So today, we will be looking at some of the different types of bread. And the countries they come from in today's article. Now, this is going to be a great guide for you the next time you go to a bakery. Oh, that's a really good point. But before we go ahead and start reading our article and taking our tour of world bread, let's take a minute or two to check out all of the new vocabulary that we'll be using today. 第二天的文章，我们来看每个国家有不同的面包。我们先来一起看几个单字。第一个 ，shape， shape， 形状是个名词。I like the shape of that dress. I like the shape of that dress. 我喜欢那件裙子的形状。第二个单字 ，bake， bake， 烘烤、烘焙是个动词。Jessica enjoys baking cookies for her class. Jessica enjoys baking cookies for her class. Jessica 喜欢烤饼干给同学们吃。第三个单词 people people 民族是个名词，这边不是指人的意思哦。比方说 ，The Navajo people live in southwestern United States. The Navajo people live in southwestern United States. Navajo, 奈瓦河族，也就是美国原住民，住在美国西南部。第四个单词 delicious, delicious, 美味的，是个形容词。That's the most delicious dessert I've ever eaten. That's the most delicious dessert I've ever eaten. 啊、oh, ，那是我吃过最美味的甜点。好了，我们现在一起看完单词，我们来看课文吧。Bread comes in many different shapes and flavors. That's because there are many different ways to make bread. However, the common way is to bake it. Different peoples have their own special kinds of bread. The French have their baguette and croissant. The Italians have their focaccia and ciabatta. The Chinese have their bao and manto. One. Okay, so as we mentioned, today's article is kind of a very quick guide to some of the different kinds of bread that we can find in different countries. It's a great way to remind ourselves of the classic loaf of white bread that many of us are familiar with. Is just one example of this delicious food. Right. So let's get into today's reading and see what other kinds of bread we can discover. The very first sentence says, "Bread comes in many different shapes and flavors." Yeah, so many shapes and flavors. 在这边加个补充单词 ，flavor 是名词，味道的意思，也可以用来形容风味。比方说，玫瑰口味的面包是 rose flavored bread， for example. Rose flavored bread,、mm. interesting, and that's a really special thing about all types of bread. It can be shaped. It can be. Formed in many different ways, and this just adds to how useful and sometimes how beautiful it can be. Yeah. Now let's take a moment here to head over to see Daphne because she has lots to tell us about our first grammar point of the day, which comes from that very first sentence. Let's do that now. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 something comes in。意思是某物有某花色、规格或尺寸等。Come 是不及物动词，意
意思是商品可供购买。In 是介系词，意思是用以。Come in 字面意思就是商品以某样式、特质等供购买。例如 ，The scarf comes in five colors. 这条围巾有五种颜色。So bread comes in lots of different shapes and flavors. As we get back to the reading, the article tells us why that is. It says. That's because there are many different ways to make bread. True, yeah. Just you can just put lots of different things into the bread to change the taste, and you can also cook the bread in different ways. But there are a few more common ways of cooking bread, and the next sentence focuses on one of them. It says, "However, the common way is to bake it." Right. So the different ingredients in the bread are mixed into something called dough, and then the dough is put into the oven to bake. So that's why the people who make bread are called bakers, and the places they make bread in are called bakeries. Yeah, and it's all right there in those names. Yep. But those are just the Basic building blocks of bread.、Mm. After that, the bakers can become very creative, and over the years and around the world, bakers have come up with lots of different forms and tastes for their bread.、Mm. As we read next, different peoples have their own special kinds of bread, and here, of course. Peoples can mean countries or cultures.、Yeah. It's a world of bread out there. So now <laughs> let's look at a few of the more well-known types. Okay, first let's talk about one of the more famous countries, not just for bread but food in general. France.、Mm. French cooking is very famous for its high-quality, delicious food,、mm. and of course.、Oh, Their bread, amazing. We read the French have their baguette and croissant. Yes, those are both so good.、Mm, I agree.、Huh. Baguettes are those long loaves of bread that look kind of like thick sticks.、Mm. They're crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. French people will eat them with lots of different foods at almost every meal. 没错，提到法国，我们当然要想到 baguette and croissant， 长棍面包，还有可颂。But a croissant in more is more like a breakfast bread.、Mm. It's made of a lot of butter, and it comes in that unique shape that looks like a curved moon. So I like croissant with a bit of jam and butter for breakfast.、Oh. Magnifique. Oh, wee、oui, wee.、Oui. And I'm starting to get a little hungry, so let's continue on with our tour of the world's bread. Next, we stay on the continent of Europe, but head over to that other great European food nation, Italy.、Ooh. Yes, it's true. Italians make their own great types of bread. And no, I'm not talking about pasta, which is sort of a bread. A lot of the same stuff、mm. goes in pasta. But no, Italian bread is really, really good. Let's look at some in the next sentence. It says the Italians have their focaccia and ciabatta. Oh yeah, oh, these、so、are both、good. really good too. Now these、oh. Italian breads. Might be a bit harder to find here in Taiwan, but if you see some, or if you go to an Italian restaurant, do try to have a taste. <gasps> That's right. Focaccia is sort of like a fluffy pizza bread, but it usually just comes with a bit of olive oil, some salt on top, and. Herbs like rosemary.、Mm. It's light and fluffy, and it's a good snack or goes very well with a salad.、Yeah. Focaccia, 没错是 focaccia。制作过程中可以加一些橄榄油或是香草来提味。Fluffy 是松软的一个质感。Olive oil 则是橄榄油 ，rosemary 迷迭香，还有 
herb 是一种香草或是草药。Mm. And that Italian, that other Italian bread, ciabatta. Now this is more of a small bun. Yes. It's usually kind of square in shape.、Mm-hmm. It's a little bit hard and crusty on the outside. And ciabattas are great for sandwiches or something like that. It's kind of like a square, crunchy hamburger bun. Really good. Put some nice Italian meat and cheese and some tomatoes on the inside. Our 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 good lunch. Ciabatta, 拖鞋面包或者是巧巴达是一种方形，外表有点酥脆，是意式面包中百搭的面包之一。我们可以用 crusty 来形容，有硬壳的，有点脆脆松松的 ，crunchy 就是酥脆的。Okay, so let's move on to the third and final stop in our global look at breads across the world. We read, of course, the Chinese have their bao and mantou. 没错，当然中国人有包子，还有馒头 for sure. So of course, we can find that here in Taiwan, China. Hong Kong and lots of other places. Hong Kong, cha siu bao. Oh, okay. Pork buns. Oh yeah, that's yep.、Good. Those are all over the world now. Mantou is a bit different from the other breads because they're not baked in the oven, but they're kind of steamed like a dumpling, right? That's true. You cook them in a different way, but、mm-hmm. they can still be used in lots of different ways. And the stuffed bao or baozi or a type of mantou used as the bread to make guabao,、mm. that kind of soft、oh, yeah, bread yeah, around yeah, the yeah. guabao. Yeah, those are both really tasty, and they're also getting popular. In lots of countries all over the world, right? There's a very popular Guabao restaurant in New York City, I think. All right. Anyways, I'm getting pretty hungry with all this talk of delicious types of bread. Yeah. So let's take a quick break. See if we can find a bakery nearby,、huh. and then we'll be back with the final part of our article and unit. See you in a second. You can enjoy them on World Bread Day. It takes place on October 16th every year, or you can be like me and enjoy delicious bread every day. Explanation two. So I think we have proven that it really is a world of bread out there,、mm-hmm. and we looked at just a few countries, and we've already found lots of delicious examples. Yeah, without even really getting into it,、mm-hmm. like we haven't talked about German black bread. Greek pita bread、yeah. or American sourdough. So the list goes on and on.、Mm, but if you're like us and love to try tasty bread, then here's some good and quite surprising news for you.、Mm-hmm. Whatever bread you enjoy, the article tells us you can enjoy them on World Bread Day. What? I never knew there was such a thing as World Bread Day. That's pretty cool. Yeah, me neither. When is World Bread Day? So the article says it takes place on October sixteenth every year.、Okay. Wow. So even if you don't really eat bread. Maybe you should do that on October sixteenth because it's World Bread Day, and you should visit your local bakery to see what you can find.、Mm, that's a great idea. But in the final sentence of the article, the writer reminds us that really. Any day is a good day、Every、for some day. baked bready goodness. It says, or you can be like me and enjoy delicious bread every day. There you go. Bread really is one of those foods that will never let you down. Never. Mainly because there are so many delicious kinds of it,、mm-hmm. different types of bread out there. Okay. Well, we're almost done here, but we do have one more thing to do, and that's check in with Daphne for the final grammar point. 第二则文法是 A is like B， 意思是 A 如同 B 一样。Like 是介系词，意思是如同、相像，用来引出相似的对象。例如 ，Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you are gonna get. 人生就像一盒巧克力
，你永远不知道接下来会吃到什么口味。All right, ladies and gents, we've run out of time. We're so sorry, but thanks for joining us for our tour of world breads, and we'll see you back here again with more fun and fascinating articles very, very soon. Until then, bye bye, bye bye, and happy World Bread Day! Happy World Bread Day! Happy World Bread Day! Have some bread. Thank you. I think I might. See ya. Every day is Bread Day. Bread comes in many different shapes and flavors. That's because there are many different ways to make bread. However, the common way is to bake it. Different peoples have their own special kinds of bread. The French have their baguette and croissant. The Italians have their focaccia and ciabatta. The Chinese have their bao and manto. You can enjoy them on World Bread Day. It takes place on October 16th every year, or you can be like me and enjoy delicious bread every day. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。今天要介绍的文法重点是 just, already 或是 yet 与现在完成式的连用。我们先前有学过，现在完成式可以跟 for 或是 since 连用，表达某个动作持续了多久。那今天还会学到更多可以跟现在完成式连用的字。首先来看 ，just 是刚刚，它要用在肯定句里面，摆在过去分词之前。例如 ，Julia has just taken the cookies out of the oven. Julia 才刚刚把饼干从烤箱里拿出来。第二个要介绍的是 already， 表示已经，它可以用在肯定句或是疑问句里。除了摆在过去分词之前，它也可以摆在句尾。像是 Sarah has already booked a hotel. Sarah 已经订了饭店 Have Kelly and her friends bought tickets to the game already? Kelly 和她的朋友已经买了这场比赛的票了吗？好，第三个要介绍的是 yet， 表示还没。Yet 必须用在疑问句或是否定句里，通常要摆句尾。例如 ，Have you had lunch yet? 你吃午餐了吗 ？George hasn't made a decision yet. George 还没做决定。接着我们再多学几个可以跟现在完成式连用的副词，像 ever 是表示曾经、至今。例如 ，Have you ever been to Germany？ 你曾经去过德国吗 ？That is the best coffee I have ever had。那是我至今喝过最好喝的咖啡。那么 never 是从不。例如 ，Jenny has never eaten Mexican food。Jenny 从来没有吃过墨西哥料理。好，另外表示次数的副词也常常和现在完成时一起连用，像 once 一次 ，twice 两次 ，three times 三次等等的。那搭配 how many times 的完成式疑问句，就可以表达出做某事曾经做过多少次，像是 how many times have you watched this movie？ 这部电影你看了几次呢 ？I have watched it three times。我看了三次了。好，下一个介绍的是 before， 表示以前。例如 ，Brian has never gone fishing before. Brian 以前没有钓过鱼。那么 ，lately 跟 recently 表示最近。例如 ，Have you seen Mike lately？ 你们最近有看到 Mike 吗？那么 ，so far 或是 until now 可以用来表达到现在为止。例如 ，We haven't heard from Jesse so far. 到目前为止，我们还没有 Jesse 的消息。好，最后要提醒同学们，现在完成式绝对不能跟表示过去的时间的副词连用，像 yesterday, last month, three weeks ago 这些等等都不能跟现在完成式一起用。那么，以上是今天的讲解，我们下次见 ，See you next time, bye. Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天是用一分钟的时间来复习四个单词，还会造四个例句。同学们准备好没？一分钟计时，开始。第一个单词它表示形状或者是外形，这字叫做 shape。shape， 你有,有听过那首 I'm in love with the shape of you？ 好了 ，shape 来造句。She gave me a cookie in the shape of a heart。她给我一片爱心形状的饼干。第二个单词呢是烤。烤饼干、烤饼干、烤蛋糕的烤、烘烤的意思叫做 bake， 
bake. Molly's sister taught her how to bake muffins. Molly 的姐姐教她烤马芬蛋糕。第三个单词，它可以指人们，可是注意哦，它还有民族或是某一国国民的意思。这个字字叫做 people. People. 如果它指民族这个意思，你后面还可以再加 s 哦。Okay, the students learned about different peoples and cultures in class. 学生们在课堂上学到不同的民族与文化。第四个单词，形容美味的、可口的，叫做 delicious. Delicious. The coffee shop serves delicious cakes and excellent coffee. 那间咖啡店有供应美味蛋糕，还有很棒的咖啡。哦，差一点。好了，不管怎么样，我们是已经复习完四个单词，同学们表现很棒哦。那我们下次见了，拜拜。See you next time.